Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo 2020. What if Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu is disqualified from the governorship race? Wow, uh, that's quite a thought. They said, what if, just what if? is disqualified. Ize Yamo is a great contender, a man who is actually looking forward to become a Doe State governor. This is not his first attempt in becoming the governor of a Doe State. Oh, yes, it's not. Even right in 2007, when the person of Adam Soshomole came there, if you listen to the antecedent, he said, Ize Yamo, according to him, said he had to step down for Adam Soshomole at that time, being that nobody from his own uh, area has become a governor governor in a those state so they had that relationship stemming from distant time and that's why you know adam Sushomole is with him well fast forward to 2016 there is also the ins the issue of both of them you know the very contender that is contesting with now and uh, the person of a uh, 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 governor Gordon Obaseki was the opponent at the same time as Ize Iyamu but Ize Iyamu was defeated at that time by governor Gordon Obaseki there are still indications right now of Ize Iyamu and Obaseki again where the two in you know uh from two the, the two different uh, major parties contesting in this election well uh, there are speculations with regards to don't forget september the third there is a case against ize iyamu and his deputy gani abdu that may lead to disqualification so what if ize iyamu just speculation loses you know is disqualified if he's disqualified means that he will not have opportunity to even contest in the first place you know i kind of feel for this man's political career i think it's not just coming in at the right time now there is a time called the right time where you step in and the conditions everything is favorable take for instance for argument's sake say you want to plant maize okay there is a season for planting maize you do you, it's like almost effortless you just go there clear your your, your farmland get do all that you need to do plant your maize within three months you are harvesting smiling to the market making some money if you are going into business with it however if you are not you are cooking some maize roasting it whatever way you want to enjoy it i think in my opinion i may be wrong now this is my thought is a yamu is just coming in at the wrong time and i would not really want these brothers political career to just end let's continue with the news and get what if okay it is no longer news that the two candidates of the all progressive congress apc in edo state pastor osage ize iyamu and gani adu on the ground are right now having court cases against them on the grounds of alleged perjury First of all, Ize Yamu has the 700 million, uh, million uh, case, but that has been postponed till after the election. Ghani, on the other hand, has a case of um, certificate forgery against him slated for September the 3rd, of which APC has even asked for a, re a request for the change of judge. Following the emergence of this suit, which may be Many may be wondering, what is the fate of Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, the APC candidate, and his deputy, Gani Abdu? Could it be, if they are disqualified, what could happen? It could be recalled that one of the reasons given by the APC for the disqualification of Governor Gordon Obaseki from bearing the APC flag at the September 19 election was based on issues of issues surrounding his certificate. The APC has claimed that they needed to be very careful in selecting candidates in order to avoid repeat of what happened to parties in Bayesa state. But now, a suit has been filed challenging the authenticity of the deputy candidate of pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, the person of Abdul Ghani. Questions have been raised in what will be 
what will be Ize Iyamu's faith and Ghani Abdu if they are disqualified from the race total? Can it be said that the party has no more candidates? Could it be the disqualification of Governor Gordon Obaseki be justified if these ones are disqualified? Could it be recalled that Governor Gordon Obaseki, who later left to join the People's Democratic Party and the same certificate was authenticated by PDP and he was certified to contest under the People's Democratic Party, the umbrella for which he is a flag bearer today. This will lead to the disqualification if Governor, if Ize Iyamu and Abdu, his candidates, are disqualified. This will lead to APC not having any candidate in the September 19 election in Edo State. What would happen to Adam Sushomole, APC as a whole, and even Pastor Usage Ize Iyamu's political career after then? You know, there is an English adage that says, one be seen twice shy. You know, when there is a constant repeat of something, it takes it, it attempts to say that one needs to pay a bit of more attention to that very issue and to that matter why it keeps reoccurring again and again. Right now, in a few days' time, Apple Line Media, please stay tuned. We'll be bringing you updates with regards to the case. One, there are speculations of what could happen. Yes, it will be two. So, if the courts, like I was saying, there are two options here. Yes, one, the result might be authenticated, cleared, so they might be discharged and acquainted, which gives them one of the hurdles cleared, ready to go on with the election. So that's fine. Or alternatively, the second option might be that they said, no, we have looked at the result and it's not right. You are therefore or thereby disqualified. Mm. That will be a big issue. Or they might say, okay, I mean, it has to be, it has to end before September the 19th because that is when and where they will be having the election. After September the 19th, there is no need for the court case. So it's either they are discharged and acquainted and said, you know what? Uh, we think we made a mistake. The result is authentic. You are free to go. Go on and contest. Or, no, you are disqualified. What could this disqualification mean? Adam Sushomole could be in trouble. He's like a man who has placed so much, you know, and has put all his eggs in one basket. What would be the faith of Adam Sushomole? You see, so there is a lot at stake right now with this uh, court case. However the case will be, we will keep you informed. Anyway, my people, have a lovely and a wonderful day. Bye for now.